invite professor navjeevan rastogi for our next uh, invited uh, guest lecture professor rastogi is a direct descendant in the lineage of uh, uh, shri k c pande representing the contemporary ingenious indian scholarship dedicated to unraveling the profound tradition of abhinavan thought and uh, he was formerly the head of the department of sanskrit and prakrit languages and uh, the honorary director of the abhinava gupta institute of aesthetics and shaiva philosophy university of lucknow and he has several important works to his credit including the krama tantra system of kashmir introduction to tantra loka kashmir uh, kashmir uh, 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 shivadvayavada ki mool avdharne and uh, so on His two books in the press are Abhinava Perspectives on Abhinav Gupta and Abhinav Gupta ke Tantragamiya Darshani ka Chintana Tatva Gnana Itihasa Sanskriti or uh, Saundarya Vimarsha and uh, so on. His current engagements comprise the editing of the volume on Kashmir Shaivism of the Encyclopedia of Indian Philosophies with Carl Potter and the English translation of Somananda's Shiva Drishti for the Indian Council of Philosophical Research. and uh, today uh, he will uh, speak to us on revisiting abhinav gupta after a thousand years so on that really interesting topic i invite you professor rastogi sir floor is yours you have 25 minutes sir and we'll park 5 minutes for quest q and a thank you okay uh, thank you deepa ji <laughs> uh, am i audible yes sir please go ahead right <laughs> महामंत्रमय नौमी रूप ते स्वच्छ शीतल अपूर्वादुभगम परामृतरसोलवण अभिनवशक्तिगुप्त यो महेशरो देव तदुभयामल अभिनवगुप्त अहम वंदे लेट मी थैंक इंडिक indica academy for holding this conference on shaivism the seminar on shaivism because you see shaivism has been a great integrating force in india and even outside india as far as Shaiv, you see i am not having any powerpoint presentation i am simply <clears throat> so it will be all oral and uh, those who want they they uh, they can um, i mean they can put on their videos so then i can uh, look at the audience and they can interact with so <clears throat> but anyway it's for now you see about a thousand years back there was a copernician movement in the intellectual history of india when one of the most prolific versatile and original thinkers penned his last work and perhaps the most important work ishwar pratyavigya vivrati vimarshini and he says after writing that work ki vishramyam yam ishwara dvay katha kanta sakas sampratam now i am going to rest in peace in the company of my beloved which is hmm, which is the ishwara dwaya katha so which is a narrative of the non being in, in being a non dualism of the, uh, of ishwara so this is it. and you see and he saw a link of his birth to the genesis of creation itself You see, his first work, his first verse of his Tantra Log starts, "Ki Vishram, <coughs> this is Abhinav Vimal Kalashraya, Vimal Kalashraya, Abhinav Srishti Maha, Janani Bhari Dutanu Shastra Shastra." So now Abhinav Srishti. So his he is linking his Srishti with the Abhinav Srishti. <coughs> so that is the. and since he was a epoch making pers person 
represent so what happened all along you say his birth was celebrated ki nandanti pitarastasya nandanti ja pitamaha adya maheshwaro jata so asman santareshyati you see why i am saying because he, it, his birth is a very very important event of the indian history indian history as such in an agamic history and at the same time the history of shivaji so <clears throat> and why we recall him today after a thousand years it was exactly you see he penned this work in 10015 ad uh, i do not use the word ce because this common era sometimes uh, uh, well uh, it's a different issue now <clears throat> why why the need for recalling him today why we need for revisiting him today you see one thing we know we, the, the whole of india is conversant with many avatars of abhinav gupta he was a not he was a dramatist he was a natyashastri he was a poetician he was <clears throat> he wrote on art music and all that but uh, unfortunately our acquaintance with him as a philosopher and a history of tantra and historiographer of tantra and a philosopher of agamas is very very less known little known uh he was a kashmiri but unfortunately now he is more or less looked in kashmir whatever we know in fact uh, he was uh, abhinav was uh, not even on the scene of mainstream indian philosophy uh, of course we have been seeing him uh, in in aesthetics in poetics but not in philosophy and and in the in the, in the agamas in fact he is a very it's, it's what only a century back when abhinav was rediscovered so jesi chaturji my teacher kantijand pande gopinath kaviraj from in varanasi lakshman ji in kashmir jay shankar prasad again in varanasi and dr raghavan in south so these are the scholars who in fact reclaimed and rediscovered abhinav gupta for us and we should be we should be grateful to them abhinav gupta of course uh, represents we know that he is connected with kashmir shivism and uh, abhinav gupta in fact represents the best of kashmir to india and best of india to the world so in fact uh, just like shankar acharya shankar adi shankar whose in fact birth cent- uh, anniversary we only celebrated yesterday adi shankar ji he is a great integ- uh, integrating force of india abhinav was a multi dimensional author i am not going to talk about what his other contributions See, i mean ki you name anything he was a grammarian he was a historiographer he was a musician he was a performing artist he was a philosopher he was a yogi he was a sadhak he was a tantric he was a choreographer so i mean he was an editor author so i mean you name this thing and you name the branch of learning and he was there and he is very much still there you see why have no this so important i mean coming to the uh, professor nagraj asked me to confine myself to shivism unfortunately abhinav is such a personality and he has such a unified vision that uh, whatever he, he touches so you cannot isolate his aesthetics from his philosophy his philosophy from his uh, for, from his uh, from his ag- agamic affiliation and his agamic affiliation from from his, from his uh, tant- uh, his forays in tantra so it is all one it is in, so it is just in, so i, I mean uh, i i always say 
कि अभिनव गुप्ता पर्सनालिटी इज नॉट ओनली इंटीग्रल इट इज इंटीग्रेटिंग पर्सनालिटी वॉट एवर इट इज इंटीग्रेट सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू सो सपोज यू लुक एट इज लोचन Naturally, the moment you talk of Dhani, the power of suggestion, so you are immediately reminded of his theory of walk, para walk, and at the same time, again you are you you are reminded of his ontological theory of swatantra walk. So I mean, it is very very difficult, but still, I have to confine myself and restrict myself to Shaivism. Now, Abhinav Gupta, you see. Uh, himself says the, he look he, he he talks of the enormity of the uh, shaivism and he says i'll read him in his paratrishka vivran he says eta vadati kastule prasahiyo shri shambhavamiti manal 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 galita ascha vacha etat tu tavad akhilatmani bhati yanme bhatam tatotra sudhiyo na parang mukhasyo he says you see it is very very difficult to May to map out Shaivism and say it is only this much. You you just simply cannot do this. So whatever little I could grasp of it, I am trying to put it in my words and present it before the world. And so I I beseech the learning audience and the learn uh, and the learned people to. Bear with me, whatever I have been able to understand, I am presenting. This Abhinavati says, but look at him, the pen picture of his times, which was drawn by Madhuraj Yogin, who who was a mendicant from south, and uh, was with Abhinavgupta at the ripe age of his at seventy four years, and he remained there with Abhinavgupta till his age of seventy eight. Now he says, ki. in fact it appears the entire entire tradition was transmitted to abhinav gupta and he personified he personified the entire tradition ki ittev stayya sankramit ittipulalito bhu adya prahitesh guru kramoha hmm the entire preceptorial traditions have been transmitted to you alone stayya sankramit ittipulalito bhu hmm and then not only this ki it was only a transmission he was he, he was held as a master preceptor ki siddhant you name the streams he says siddhant vam bhairav yamal kaul trik ek veer ek veer in all these systems he was he, he was held as the paramacharya siddhant vam bhairav yamal kaul trik ek veeranam अभिनव गुप्त श्रीमान आचार्य पदे स्थित जयती सो यू सी इट इज दिस पर्सनैलिटी आर दिस पर्सोना वी आर गोइंग टू स्टे इन दील्ड ऑफ शविजम ही रिप्रेजेंट काश्मीर शविजम नाउ यू सी अभिनव गुप्त हिमसेल्फ प्लेस अभिनव हैज हिज ओन पैरामीटर्स टू जजिंग ही टेक्स हिम एज ए पर्सन हु इज ऑन द पीक ऑन द समिट and then at the same time he is on the summit not because he is he, he is the highest or the tallest person but because he in in fact he subsumes and and in in fact he incorporates and imbibes the entire tradition within him that is the thing and you see his very very famous statement which he makes in abhinav bharti on natya shastra कि ओर्धोर्ध मारुही यदर्थ तत्वम श्री पश्यति शांति में वेदयंती फलम तदाद्य परिकल्पिता नाम विवेक सोपान परंपरा नाम सो ही सेज कि व्हाट एवर आई एम गोइंग टू से इट इज द फल ऑफ द विवेक सोपान परंपरा इट इट यू सी इट इज नॉट वन इट इज द सीरीज ऑफ लेडर्स सो विवेक सोपान परंपरा तो फलम तदाद्य माय माय प्रिकर्सर्स व्हाट एवर हैज बीन ट्रोडन बाय द माय प्रिकर्सर्स सो इट इज ओनली दिस सो एंड देन It's not only that I am only following them. He says, in fact, what I am doing, ki mula pratishthapit yojanasu, hmm, purva pratishthapit yojanasu, mula pratishtha phal mamananti. What have I implanted by them? I am trying to reap their fruits and present and present it before the world. So you see, so he says, <clears throat> ki no, this is the this is the way he looks at him. he takes him as the repository of the entire tradition and then by imbibing the tradition 
he 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 also takes himself as to be the spokesman of the of the, the, the that tradition and for that not only that he is only a spokesman he is an authentic person because you see he, 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 he what he says he begins you see he, he, his first challenge is in his uh, uh, you know in the in vimarshini he says he in fact he told ki atmanu manohigyaya yo vivekta anya dichhati ten bhautaina kim vacham prashne smin ko bhavani ki ki if you have not analyzed yourself now you see this question can be understood in two contexts one in the present context and in one the, uh, in the context of the own, own philosophy and uh, now you see atma no vidya if you have not understood your atma and another if you have not discovered your identity atma no vidya yo vivekta anya dichhati you want to analyze others then if suppose somebody comes back and ask and, and throws back the question on you who are you what will be your answer so you see uh, and then he says he goes back to his teach, grand teacher utpal dev and he says ki yes so we have got a path it is prakritito maya sughat esh margo nago so now here is a path a new path and that path is the path of pratyavigya that that the path of kashmir shivism which we call in is of course kashmir shivism is a misnomer but is a common term and we everybody understands it so now you see i'll i'll talk about shivism which he represented and which he molded and um under two heads one as an agamic current and the other as a mainstream philosophy as a shaiv philosophy as a tantric philosophy and as a tantric philosophy and you can call it the third aspect the tantric philosophy as a part of the mainstream indian philosophy so that is the thing. unfortunately now when i when i started uh, uh deepa ji when 5 minutes uh, remain you just uh, let me know Yes. So, because uh, I was given to understand that I'll, it will be first. I was given to understand that I'll be speaking for an hour. Then I was going to understand it will be thirty minutes. Now you tell me that it will be twenty-five minutes. So you can just tell me five minutes in advance, and I'll just manage myself. So, <clears throat> but anyway, so now you see, uh, if you look at, nobody recognizes Abhinav as philosopher. it is you see how do we recognize a system or a, a, a philosopher it is only by referring to him so we refer in two ways either we have some works uh, 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 is some other philosophers writing on him or we have some uh, in fact we we take that system or a person as a puru paksha as a prime of his position where we take him as a prime of his standpoint and then we criticize him or we analyze his system so no where in indian philosophy we have abhinav gupta as a pure pakshi and so now you see we coming we come to coming uh, in fact uh, it is only says it is 12th century 14th century when we have the madhvacharya sarvadarshan sangra there we have the first reference and that is there we have this pratyavigya darshan he is discussing he is discussing the darshan darshan also and he is and then this pratyavigya darshan is also at a very low level in in fact is out of the 16 systems pratyavigya system is ranked at number 8 so you see you can say much above nastika systems ramanuj madhva nakulish pashupat hmm, and much below nyay vaisheshik panini sankhya and advait vedant so so you see nowhere and then again uh, some scholars have referred that uh, uh, madhusudan saraswati in his vedant kalpalatika and pratipatti prakasho and his commentary on uh, mahimni stotra refers to uh, shaivism no nowhere it is this shaivism is pashuvas shaivism and it is not kashmir shaivism so again we come to see as late as 20 see beginning of the 20th century 
देन वी हैव अनदर कंपेंडियम दर्शन सर्वस्व भाई स्वामी शंकर चैतन्य भारती ही रोट हिज कमेंट्री ऑन खंडन खंड काद्य मानस राज हंस सो देयर ही इज टेकिंग ही इज द फर्स्ट पर्सन हु इज टेकिंग अभिनव गुप्त एंड काश्मीर शम वेरी फिलोसॉफिकली सीरियसली एंड ही इज द फर्स्ट पर्सन हु टेक्स इट एज अ पूर्व पक्ष एंड देयर ही सेज एंड ही सेज कि इन फैक्ट दिस इज द हाईएस्ट सिस्टम इन फैक्ट worthy of being a pure paksha of advaita vedanta and he gives a name and he calls it ki prakash maharshivad and takes shri putra sampradaya as a sibling of kashmi of uh, the shaiva pratyavigya so and he again and the and, and the core concept of this pratyavigya system is swatantra so swatantra of consciousness autonomy of consciousness so this is this so you see am i visible am i am i visible to the audience yes sir you are visible okay right and you have about 6 minutes more sir. okay then then i have to no you see so i have to cut short uh you see uh, abhinav uh, as i said ki then we can say ki abhinav to wrote for, five or six words so let us be we should know it because just introduction and we can talk later much on it uh antantras he is he wrote in his encyclopedic work i think a like of which might be difficult to find anywhere uh, in india he wrote a 12 volume book that is tantra loko on um, um, and uh, with his commentary by jayarath it is a formidable book running over more than 4000 pages so he wrote tantra log and then he wrote shorter versions also then the, the, the shorter versions were this tantra chhe tantra vatadhatika tantra sar and two other works he wrote that was the paratrishka vivaran and uh, the malini vijayavartik no paratrishka vivaran was a commentary on the rudra amal tantra while these all these were supposed to be the commentary on the malini vijayavartika tantra no what abhinogu do, does here nothing short of miracle he develops a what he call i mean number one he he explores what is tantra tattva while concluding his tantra lok so he says it's a tannibandham vidade mahartham yuktya gamo dirit tantra tattvam and this tantra so he identifies with antartra and this anutrati is a very long long uh, a very complicated uh, through a very complicated process he arrives at this is the entire th- the subject matter of entire tantra look is divided into first tantra prakriya then uh, kul prakriya tantra prakriya culminates into kul prakriya then kul prakriya culminates into trik prakriya trik prakriya culminates into anuttar prakriya and anuttar prakriya culminates into anuttar trik prakriya so this is the way he takes and so but as his time is short i can <clears throat> so this is one thing and then again what he does this is a very important thing and for some at some other point of time we might discuss ki he he talks of the the, the upaya doctrine what he calls upaya yojana so these are the through the series of four four redemptive knowledges he he develops the entire content of shavism so it is anupaya shambhavopaya shaktopaya and anupaya anubopaya now anupaya now what is he he integrates this tantric philosophy with shavism with philosophy and with mainstream philosophy or you can say the philosophy proper of shavism and that pratyavigya so this anupaya is pratyavigya so he relates pratyavigya with anupaya and of course anubopaya is the yogic practices shaktopaya is 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 the vikalp is, is is the process that is devoted to the vikalp sanskar now this in fact shaktopaya or what we call in fact kram system is the most important system of kashmir shavas and that's the beauty of it because you see ki the, the beauty of it lies in the fact ki that it is not it, 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 the, the samadhi or the moksha is not nirvikalpa it is only through the shodhan of vikalpa you reach the moksha 
and uh, again you see now in in developing this notion of agama tattva and tantra tattva he says ki now this system this agam is dip pravah and in dip pravah he takes lakulish pashupal and shrikant lakulish pashupal represents the vedic stream and shrikant represents the mantra marg or the the, the, the shaivism proper and this is through the through the fusion of these two he says now the kashmir shaivism develops and you see in developing this kashmir shaivism then there are three types of shaivism that are operating and obtaining throughout india and particularly in kashmir so one was the dualistic tradition was was the and the other dualistic non dualistic tradition third was the monistic tradition yeah non dualistic tradition and even within that in non dualistic tradition there were two traditions one was called trimuk tradition the non dualistic tradition which was we normally we call it tantra prakriya and the other was the ardha trimuk so this was the kula prakriya so these were the see so you see in fact uh, 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 what avnagup does is nothing until unless we look into what his contribution is no this is the way he develops his tantra tattva now coming back so the mainstream philosophy which he develops he develops it in the vimarshini which is a commentary on the karikas of utpaldev and then he vivrat vimarshini with which i began my lecture so he vivrat it is a commentary on the vivrati of his grand teacher utpaldev which utpaldev wrote on his karikas so now you see and in there he develops you see his, his system uh, what we call philosophy and uh, in fact you see until you see we know what sort what sort of system he develops so uh, it is if i if i recall i can just give a very 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 brief uh, uh, i can uh, You see, in 1995, in ha, uh, 1905, Professor Kalidas K. C. Bhattacharya, in fact, uh, wrote his work and uh, his studies in philosophy, published by his son Gopika Nath Bhattacharya, and there he is discussing. You see, um, he calls his system. so he in fact he he is discussing the uh, do- doctrine of trinal absolute so there are three so he is talking of three kinds of absolute and these three types of absolutes this he bases on his analysis of the three kinds of consciousness three types of consciousness so he divides the, the one is the feeling consciousness the other is knowing consciousness and uh, feeling consciousness knowing consciousness and willing consciousness now for him he takes them to be the exclusive forms of consciousness and thereby and is this this idea is further developed by his uh, by professor t r v murthy 1934 and then further this idea is further developed by uh, uh, dr ashok uh, uh, ashok um, uh, ash, um, uh, ashok um, ashok chatter ji ashok ashok chatter um uh, ashok kumar chatter ji um, so further pollution so you see there are three types of consciousness one is willing and one is knowing in knowing you see the, the, every consciousness uh, uh, is uh, you see when we discuss about consciousness we we discuss about the subject and his relation with the object now in this subject object relationship in knowing consciousness the object is given and what subject does subject receives and grabs the object without the intervention of the subject so subject in in willing consciousness the subject the, the content of the phenomena is a creation of the consciousness itself consciousness is self positive consciousness creates everything itself out of itself in itself so content is nothing different from the consciousness so everything is self positive within the consciousness 
and in willing consciousness uh, uh, and i'm sorry and in in this feeling consciousness what we have we have the subject and object on the same axis but in reversible roles facing each other so subject could be the object object could be subject so and we have the we have the examples achinte veda ved we can take as well the bhavna this feeling consciousness and the this vigyanavad and kashmir shavas was taken as the example for the this willing consciousness and advait vedan for the knowing consciousness but avinogut raises a question avinogut says no the conscious consciousness cannot be bifurcated there is a unified consciousness and so all the willing now he says what is this he now he goes beyond and he develops a new kind of consciousness and he says ki no consciousness can not be bifurcated consciousness which we call in in i mean in specific kashmir shape terms which is called prakash and vimarsh so i am not going to discuss these terms because deepa ji will uh, come down heavily I'm on sorry, so <laughs> so i'm sorry sir i think that it is so, time i'm sorry so i am just so let me finish i may i take one minute that's all not more yes, than sir. that so yes. he says ki no these forms of consciousness are not mutually exclusive they constitute so they emanate from the precise consciousness which we call aham paramarsh it is the i consciousness and he says the i is the fulcrum of feeling willing and knowing everything so it is this i consciousness which he says so he says so so on this note i'll 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 just finish because uh, i think i don't think is nice in fact you see avinukta has a very stringent parameters for himself and for others and he says you know philosophy is a serious business and we must take it equally seriously and then he will say this and i will just conclude with his this is shlok of his he says ki pasham pratibhakto kashran bho yushman bhave jangama i am not going to speak to the stones dots pasham pratibhakto kashran bhave hmm yushman bhave jangama i am going to speak to you you the chetan with life you see so some and to yushman ruve yungama sayo thaya manarth marth sarane koyam rithodya maha samvid dhamani shambhave vishath chet kaliya mekam lavam kinkim varna avirabhir vita satyam swam vyasa just spend only a moment of uh, to, to to discover this truth and you will be set thank you deepaj so much for bearing with me namaste फील्ड दिस कॉन्फ्रेंस and uh, as you promised uh, during our conversation you showed how uh, abhinav gupta probably is the only one who philosophized the whole uh, gamut of uh, multiple fields multiple disciplines through the framework of uh, shaivism and uh, how nuanced and uh, intricate uh, his connection making within the theory through very nuanced concepts is you could very well bring out during this brief conversation for for scholars like you this time is not sufficient this <coughs> half an hour time is uh, not uh, sufficient uh, we uh, are very grateful to you sir uh,